So welcome back to day two of competition here at the Denisa Denmark Open. So success for the Danes in our fourth match of the day. Our next uh, four matches are all singles. We've got uh, second and third women's singles coming up, followed by the second and third men's singles of the day. But our next match, as you can see, is Michelle Lee, the number four seed up against Amelia Schultz from Denmark. And then we'll have Mia Blickfeld, home interest there. And then the two men singles that I was mentioning. Well, this section of the draw, it's the third quarter of the draw, and we are about to see both the seeds in this section. First, Michelle Lee, and then after that, we will see the number seven seed, Mia Blickfeld. So uh, both those matches involving Danes, so home interest for the few fans that have been allowed into the stadium. Of course, restrictions globally on the amount of people gathering, and that's why we don't have our usual wonderful atmosphere here in Ordenza at the Denmark Open. But we're enjoying it more than ever. I'll be more because we've waited Canada, so long, an unbelievably long time. And we've been starving, back. starving for seven months. We, <laughs> here is Michelle Lee, number four seed, and making her fifth appearance here at the Denmark Open. Was actually a quarter finalist uh, back in 2015. Five years ago, she lost to Carolina Marin in the quarter final, having beaten Nozomi Okuhara in the second round. We saw Nozomi Okuhara beating Kirsty Gilmore a little earlier. Well, Amelia Schultz, she will be playing on quarter finals day. That we know for certain in the women's doubles. Doubles, yes. Because they have got a walkover in the next round because the number three seeds, Matsuyama and Shida, she, of course, is playing doubles with Christine Bush. Mm -hmm. And so they will get a walkover into the quarterfinal stage. So as she knows that she's got more badminton to come, regardless of today's outcome of this singles match. Hi. She'll Hello. be happy. She'll be I very happy. Black but or red. Quite certain she would black. like to play tomorrow as well, which black. means she's got to Service. be the number four seed, Michelle Best Lee. Side. Have a good match. As you can see, never played against each other previously. That's understandable. This young lady really is young. She's only 19 years of age. Born in Calding, which is where we had the 2017 European Championships. And she's had some good results in junior badminton as well. Silver medalist at the European Junior Championships two years ago. Those European Junior Championships staged in Estonia. Lost out in the final to Lena Christofferson, who we saw have a very good win against her teammate Lena Kiesfeld yesterday evening. Yeah, a match a lot of Danes were looking forward to yeah. watch. I was surprised it was two straight games, but there we go. It was close games. Yeah, 18 and 18. Yeah. Michelle Lee, born in Hong Kong, but moved to Canada as a six-year-old. Lives in Markham, greater Toronto region in southern Ontario. So has been as high as eight in the world ranking, but currently 10. And she has an outstanding record, as we look at our court officials for this, an outstanding record in Pan American Championships. Pan American Games, three times gold medalist. And the Pan American Games are like the European Games, the Asian Games, and the Olympic Games. They only happen uh, uh, every fourth year. Every fourth year. Yep. Five finals in Pan American Championships, including four gold medals. 34 career finals, winning 24 career titles. And obviously quite a few of those were at the Pan American Championships or the Pan American Games. But she is, as we look at her coach, Mike Butler, former Canadian number one. He was a good left-handed player, wasn't he? Yep. Won the... Macau 
event for the last two years, and I think she regards that Ready as to play. probably her best two results in world terms. But she is one of those players that none of the other top players want to play against. No. And um, why isn't it? It's because she can raise the bar. Yes. She can really, when she's not under pressure, and that's what we call play, play upwards, you know, there's no pressure on you, and you play someone who's ranked higher than yourself, and you just go in and enjoy yourself, she can play beautiful badminton. Yeah. But when the pressure's on Michelle, sometimes we have to say she might crumble now and again. Yeah. We've well, seen it. Well, just to emphasize your point about who she's beaten, she's beaten Carolina Marin. Ladies and gentlemen, she was world champion. On my she's right, been Nozomi Okuhara, who's a former world champion. And uh, she and has beaten left, the world number Michelle one, Tai Su Ying. Canada. Yeah. That's an impressive. Um, Michelle Lee to surf. If I'm not mistaken, Ratchanok Inton on the, the All England first Ray. round one year as well. Yeah, I think so. But I'm not sure. I think so. Oh, that's ah, a lovely that's shot. What great skill. Needs one to start off Service with. Wow. Friend. One love. Yeah, that's more great skill. Oh, my goodness me. Well, I watched her in the Two women's love. doubles yesterday. Tell us a little bit more about her singles prowess. Yeah, it's, it's really funny you say that, because um, I, I spoke to Tina Baum uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, afternoon, and I, I said to her that I think that Amelia really played well in the doubles. And she reminded me a little bit of a, a young Camilla Rutayou. You know, they, of course, both left-handed yeah. tall players and so forth, but some of the same skills as well. And then she said to me, have you ever seen her play singles? And I said, no, I haven't seen her play singles. I think she's much better in singles than doubles. Wow. Tina said. Yeah. And, you know, she's got real potential. She can play a lot of shots, and I really like, you know, she's going for it. She's playing her shots. She's following up, and, you know, she One takes no four. prisoners. She's really playing her hardest everything single time. Yeah. And I thought, OK, I'm looking forward to this match today. Yeah. And I can see that Tina is sitting right in front of us watching it. Uh, she, she is commentating on Danish TV. Just missed it. And Tina Baum, of course, the last player from the host nation to win the women's singles title here 11 years ago. Yeah, she must be. Yeah. She must be. Well, I know she made the error Four. there, oh. but the creativity yes. of thinking to go cross court, I don't know from a coach's perspective, Morton, do you yes. encourage that with somebody so young, 19 years of age? I think it's great to watch. Yeah. Uh, the skills, the uh, the ability to play it and, and uh -huh. the mind yeah, to try yeah. to do it. Yeah. I think it's great. Of course, if she keeps making mistakes on it, I will say, OK, we have to go home and practice before we use it again. But yeah. the, the mere fact that she, she wants to play it, she's got it in her book, mm. I think that's, that's important. Yeah, I do too. I think that sometimes coaches get so there, there, obsessed but... with Five, results four. rather than... Development. Development to full potential. Yes. Yeah. You've got to find the soul of the game. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Six, four. And you don't get that just playing like a machine. You have to get the soul. Yeah. Play, play the shots. Look at that serve. That was a good serve. 
just making Michelle Seven, move four. forward just slightly before she mm. had to hit the next one, which is, you know, it's good. Got these small technical skills. Oh, my goodness. That was a fabulous cross-court net shot four. from the left-hander. However, she forgot to follow up. She's standing a little bit too far. Had Michelle got that one over, I don't think she would have been able to get to the top of the tape. But well played. And Michelle have to, you know, really opt her game. She's got to not sit back and wait. Yeah. Serve is over. Five, eight. Yeah, that's good. Good play by Michelle Lee. I like the fact that she's going down the line and not yes. spreading the attack Michelle. or opening it Michelle. up, but really just going down the line on this one. Have a look at it, and then the follow-up. The follow-up is coming straight away. She is on the way towards the net on that one. Yeah, she could have come back. I like that. Good play by uh, Michelle Lee. Yeah, she was in trouble from that moment, wasn't she? Having played the backhand from very deep in the court, all was under pressure. Yeah. Yeah, the quality of that smash is simply not good enough, and she's no. punished. The back level. First time that eight. Michelle Lee has been in the lead in this opening game. Five straight points now. Serves over nine all. Could have been room for a challenge. Ten, nine. Oof. Yeah. That's close, close, isn't it? Yeah, very close. Well, oh, that's good. Yeah. Very good. 11, very nine, nice. Interval. Very nice indeed. A yeah, nice way to go to the mid game interval with a two point advantage. Look how she. Took that so early. Reached up, tipped no, down over the shuttle. Når du er en gider bolde der kommer lidt ind i banen til dig, når du kommer frem og kan holde dem lidt og trykke dem mod baglinjen, det kan hun ikke lide. Hvis vi så også varierer lidt med at bare spille dem blødt ind i banen. Ja, ja, præcis. Men ikke spille dem nødvendigvis helt tæt på nettet, bare spille dem ind i banen til hende. Hun er meget bedre, hvis den kommer helt tæt på nettet, end, end hvis den kommer lidt ind i banen til hende. Så, og, det, og det er også det, hvis du er defensiv, hvis du er hernede og trækker bolden eller noget, træk dem ind i banen, lad være med at spille dem helt tæt, for så går hun op og, og ruller helt op på den. Court 1, 20 seconds. Ja, det skal der. Court 1, 20 seconds. Ja. We're slowly picking that pace up, meaning when we want to be hit from the back, make sure we're moving close to the net, moving up, pushing it, and then hitting up down the backhand side, just around the head is strong. Anything from her backhand, so whether you have to put a punch clear in her forehand and then go back to the backhand, but your smashes down that side have been working. The slice down that side once in a while. Be so easy to follow what Mike Butler was saying, but 
more than any specific tactics or advice for oh that's going wide yeah for Amelia Schultz um, uh, yeah, the, the gist of it was uh, Michelle and rightly so is, is much better than Amelia at the net in, mm. in terms of playing the tight net skills mm. so they they want to keep Michelle away from that by playing these what we call long nets into the court and all that but I think rightly again uh, Michael Twelve. pointed out that it seems like Michelle is not comfortable when Amelia is going up and pushing these uh, shots down the line to the back line um, from the from the 13, net area. 10. And uh, I think yes. he's quite right on that. She's not comfortable in these situations because she's getting pushed far, yeah. far down and there's a small disguise on it and she's getting a little bit late on it. So I can understand that, but they're, they're scared of her net play. Yeah. Mm, nice angle. 14 10. Well, Michelle Lee has actually won 10 of the last 12 points, having been 4 8 down. Oof, that fell back her own side. 15 10. And once again, we see she's trying to go down the line and not crossing the centre of the court, which I think is it's a good idea. But sometimes you need variation on it. Bill that saw it again. That's the same one, just on the backhand side. Serve is over. 11-15. No doubting she's got talent, the left-hander. I, I think we will have a typical case Service over. of Danish badminton here. 16-12. We are lacking in terms of uh, practice hours and, and all that when we are younger, when we are kids, compared to Asian nations. It's, we go to school. Yeah. We uh, follow school full time and only when we are 18, 19 years of age, we get out of elementary school and then, you know, start really spending time on playing badminton after that. And that's when the players start picking up from when they're 19 to 22. You suddenly see how they grow and get better and better. When we, when you saw them playing when they were 17, you think, oh, they will never make it. But it's just a, a typical th case of Danish badminton numbers. Yeah, 16. but I mean, just to clarify, the age, Asian children still go to school, but it's within a sports environment. Exactly, yes. Yes. Yeah. A sports school or... Yeah. Um, where there's it, a lot of emphasis on, on the sport sports. on a daily yeah. day basis. Yeah. Where here it's, it's totally private. You go to school, you get home, four or five o'clock in the afternoon and then you have to do your training after that. Yeah. 17, 13. So we don't spend that many hours on court when we're younger. Serve is over. 14, 17. It's very seldom we have a Peter Gade a Victor Axis and, and Anna's Antons and that, you know, Serves break over. through when they're 19, 20 years of age yeah. and just 14. go all the way because they've been very good since they were, were kids. Yeah. Seldom had those kind of cases. See, when she gets physically stronger, been working it 
years in the, in the gym and on the court and all that, she will get much, much stronger physically. Yeah. And then suddenly that would add on a lot to her game. Yeah, good aggression from Michelle yeah. Lee. Service over, 1915. She's a very stylish player. Michelle Lee, she's really great to watch. And I was there in, in Macau when she won one of the uh, titles, and I'm, I can assure you, she was very, very happy. Yeah, brings up game point opportunity. I'm sure she was even more happy because she won it on her birthday. One year, it was the day before. <laughs> it was the day after her birthday, and then the next year she won it, she won it on her birthday. That's perfect. She also used to represent a Danish club called Greve, where she played uh, just south of Copenhagen for some years. Been here in Denmark playing club badminton. It's a nice way to save a game Service point. Over. Good aggression. 16 20 17 20 oh my goodness 18 20. Three game points have come and gone. Two more remain, so for this lady. Yeah. Okay. This time, 21 18. First game. Won by score. Michelle Lee, 21 mm -hmm. 18. Opening game, 16 minutes. And the number four seed. Coming through in yeah, the end. Yeah. Do my click now begin. That man will really come with that. But it's fine. 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 But it's Ja. Det er stille og der er flade hele tiden. Nej, det er jo klar på. Rigtigt. Men ellers så variation i spillet. Altså variation i spillet hele tiden. Også i dine server. Altså et par lange server er fint. En kort server, en flad server. Altså alle dine tre server i brug. Og den der, hvor du lige stopper. Du skal være lidt fræk mod den her. Øh, når du selv kan endelig få hinanden angrebet. Jo mere du har en i defensiven, jo mere mere ved. Øh, når hun selv er i offensiven, jamen, så er det med at komme ned efter den, ned i benene, og så få den holdt kort af. Og selvfølgelig er det svært, så du kan ikke gøre alt perfekt, men så du skal heller ikke, du skal også ligesom hjælpe dig selv med ikke at, at være for, ja, altså anklage dig selv for meget, hver gang at du laver et eller andet. Men, ja. men hvis vi prøver at holde på det her, så skal, så skal det nok ja, gå rigtig fint. Ja, ikke lige være til fortilfredsende. Nej, 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 altså selvfølgelig ikke. Øh, men eller så hold variation også der nede fra dine dybe hjørner, hvis du begynder, hvis du bliver ved med at bruge krydsen hele tiden. Hun, har, altså hun, ja. hun, hun kommer ind i rytmen, ikke? Kør den helt til baglinjen en gang også, fordi så hun, så hun simpelthen så hun ikke ved, hvor bolden kommer. Kom så. You can really try to uh, benefit from that a bit more, exploit that a bit more, put more pressure on her serve. And just keep, keep rallying her with the pace. The only thing on the backhand side is the round the head, but as soon as you turn her this way, whether it's a slice down, a push, a clear from her, nothing. Nothing's coming that, that'll hurt you at all. And just keep Second moving game. forward off, off that attack Love like all. that. Just keep following on that. Stay Lee. focused. So Michelle Lee having won that tight opening game. Oh, this One judgment low. there from Schultz, that was clearly in. Well, the one thing that I was struck by in the two-minute timeout there and the coaching break, Morton, was the fact that the Danes started with a, a little laugh between themselves. That's, <laughs> that's a nice a coaching moment to... You don't need to tell us what was said in case it was... No, no, it was, it was yeah. perfectly fine. It was just, Two, it no. was actually quite quite sweet, quite nice, quite yeah. entertaining. Because um, it was, it was um, 
Amelia pointing out that she was playing too many routine shots from low positions because she's yeah. pushing them to the back line. She's stronger yeah. than the other juniors in Denmark, yeah. so she's pushing them to the back line. Yeah. And every time she does that, you know, she's getting punished because Michelle is really good intercepting yeah. shots, and that's what's happening. So, uh, so uh, Michael agrees straight away, and he couldn't stop laughing. Say, you, you've got to get out of that happen, and it's got to happen, and it's got to start now. Yeah. <laughs> and then he laughed, you know. So yeah. you know, you've got to get, yeah. get rid of that one. <laughs> So, uh, one, you know, it's, uh, it's just a smile, just a joke. I, yeah. I agree with you. It's a good atmosphere. Yeah. Because it must be not daunting, but, I mean, for such a youngster, you know, on uh, national television here in her home country and uh, television uh, pictures around the world, I mean, it's, it's some players would feel a little intimidated by that. And what you want is a player to relax into it and, and sort, sort of think, this is a great opportunity. As she took her opportunity in the doubles, here's an opportunity to show what she can do. I think that's exactly what she's doing. Yeah. I think she's enjoying herself. Yes. And the final remark when she walked on court, I don't want to be satisfied with a good first set. Yeah. So that says it all. Yeah. Perfect. As I see it. Yeah. Terrific. Oh, yes, my goodness. Michelle Lee didn't even move to that. Serves over three all. Totally deceived by the slice. Serves over four. I think it could three. be an idea for Amelia Schultz to serve some low services as well. Um, if Michelle Lee really wants to add on the pressure, she can start attacking from that. High surf. And maybe that's not a good idea for the Dane. Serve is over. Four all. Oh, that was a good angle from Michelle Lee. Serve is over. But that's Five, what I mean. She can four. play really good attacking shots on, on the high serve, maybe, you know, the low serve will yeah. be quite beneficial. Because Michelle Lee is, is really good when she's attacking. Yeah. Out oh, maneuvered. Maneuvered the world number 10. Amelia Schultz. Five all. Yeah. Well constructed rally. Yeah, good play. Service Nicely over. guided to that Six, five. corner at the front of the net. So far, Michelle is sitting back a bit, I think. Seeing what's happening. And that's mm. another good serve, I think. Yeah, it's a very good serve. Seven yeah. five. Missed it. But don't Seven you think, over. because as a Dane yourself, that Six, uh, we're approaching an exciting time for Danish women's singles with? Uh, Mia Blickfeld, who we will uh, see soon, uh, yeah. soon. and uh, Lena Christofferson, and of course the player on court at the moment, Schultz. Don't you think it's very encouraging times, and especially the three of them that can Eight, keep pushing each six. other the whole time? Yeah, and the good thing that they're all young. Yes. I, th I think so. Lena, Lena Kersfeld is, what, 26 now, so you can't say that's young, but... Uh, I hadn't actually included her in that because nope. I just felt these youngsters yep. were, you know, it all but well for a good future of Danish women's singles I, badminton. I, I agree with you, and it, it looks like that Lena Kers felt this uh, is being run Service over effort. in terms of that because the Seven, youngsters really eight. come up yes. now, and uh, she's not been able to uh, get higher than. Mia Blickfeld and then the two youngsters here coming definitely yeah. from behind and most likely will overtake Lena Kersfeld. Yeah. 
and Nina Christofferson ha has already done it. We saw that oh. yesterday. Service over. That's a great follow-up. Mike Butler, seven. her coach, was urging her to follow up. And that was perfectly taken. Apologises for hitting her opponent. Service over. Eight, nine. Perfect placement again from Michelle Lee. Series over. Ten, eight. Couldn't really have walked over there and placed it any better, could she? No. Oh! Eleven, Another moment eight. of magic. Interval. Perfect net shot from Michelle Lee to take her to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. Look at that. Yeah, perfect skills. That is perfection. Can you also get stuck in defense? But we can still be quite yeah, also. But maybe you can do something like in the rhythm with the long serve, and just make that there where you not where you can see it coming short, but on flat also. It's it's two percent more you should trust on your defense. So are you with me? It's just a cross. Hvis du kan, men altså hun slår godt til den ikke, så det er noget med at bare få den over der godt. Men ja. Kom så. Times not up, not off serve. I'm glad you're taking you're taking it to her off the serve. That's good. When she pushes you deep in your forehand, just maybe one or two reverse slice because she's starting to cheat cross again. So maybe you're going straight this way. Just keep her honest. Eleven eight. But yeah, just a few unlucky mistakes as well, but. The, the, the strategy is there, so keep it going. Oh, that's nice. Cross court net shot. Yeah. Uh, there's signs to me that Michelle Lee is just trying to up her pace a little bit. Look at that. That is delightful. Yeah, Mike Butler was talking about yes. the occasional slice. It's behind it so beautifully. Good balance, good positioning. And then, of course, you've got the options. You can play the slice, you can play cross court, you can play the punch clear. 14 8. Five straight points it is now for Michelle Lee. Eight. Make that six straight points. Yeah, it's a super shot. You know, that's a couple of times she's used that cross court disguise slice, and twice that she's played an outright winner with it. Yeah, take that at least three times. Well done. 10, 15. Sixteen ten. 
And that's a wonderful smash down the line from Amelia Schultz. I really think she done herself proud in this match. Yeah. Yeah, now that's the sort of, 17, of movement 11. when an opponent plays a disguise shot like that, that if once she's built up a bit of strength in her legs, exactly. she will be getting to those. She will. In two years' time, that would not be a problem. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful reverse shot. Try to have a look at that. That's perfection in motion. 12, Try 17. to look at this. Look at this. Whoa. That's nice. I've been really impressed with the skills. Service over. 18, 12. Well, she really got this habit of, in her defence, to push it to the back line. And she got to learn to play variations on that mm. block shots, straight and cross and all that. Yeah. Uh, but at least she is aware, so I'm sure she will work it out. 19, 12. Oh, yes, I was going to say, that was worth the challenge. In. That was challenge of this match. I think it, it will be match point. Yeah. I think it's out. But it's close. It is out. indeed match point. 20 match points. In fact, there's 12. eight match points for Michelle Lee. Oh, goodness. What a drop shot. Serves over 13 20. This time, second time of asking, and the number four seed, Michelle Lee, safely through the first match That's here at the Denmark Michelle Open. Lee, 21 18, 21 13. 21 18, 21 13. Yeah, the match lasting 31 minutes. This is the final rally. Uh, that gliding movement on display in that final rally something Morton was talking about a little earlier. So, Michelle Lee progresses through to the second round here at the Denisa Denmark Open.
So the seed in the women's singles, Michelle Lee, safely threw against the hugely talented youngster Schultz from Denmark. So there we can see our last...